doing enough. I really don't even want to talk about the dude no more because I've said all I had to say. And after tonight, I don't need to say no more. All I want to do is prove to the world that I am the best. I'm the baddest man on the planet. And hey, whenever they ready, we'll be ready. <laughs> Everybody to big time boxing is me. Don't you don't, don't ever forget when I found you, you you were strung out on coke. When I found you, you was you was like a big house contemplating about killing yourself. So don't you ever forget who brought you to big time boxing. The so-called baddest man on the planet had a lot of people fooled. This PBC creation almost pulled the biggest fraud in boxing history. The Browns bomber had a lot of people thinking that nobody wanted to fight him and he was the best in the world with no unification matches, with a resume full of tomato cans. The only reason he fought Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury is a drug addict, he coming back from weighing 400 pounds, he suffers from depression, but he was lineal champion which be a good name on his resume. You know, kick a man while he's down. Believe me, if Wilder and his management team knew that Tyson Fury had some kick left, they would have not have taken the fight. And I'm not here to talk about the Tyson Fury fight one or two. We're talking about the lies. The reason why Wilder's fan base is so upset and hurt, because they know the truth. Wilder was a hype job by the PBC. They did not really want him in the big fights. Well, they did want him in big fights, but they want him in fights that he could win. And that's why he was never going to fight Dillian White. And they did not want to fight Anthony Joshua unless it was on their terms. And that's why they sell that fake $50 million deal through email. Why do you think Deontay Wilder was so pissed off at Andy Reid when he lost the rematch? Because that would be the easier role for him to be undisputed heavyweight champion. At least that's what they thought. But if you're the baddest man on the planet, nobody can fade you. Why would you take the easy route? And like I told people before, I don't have a dog in this fight. I just want an undisputed champion. But AJ is the one trying to make all the fights. AJ has fought Dillian White. AJ offered Tyson Fury a contract. Tyson Fury wanted 60-40, priced himself out. He gave Deontay Water two chances to make the fight, and he didn't want to make it. The first time around, $12.5 million. Wilder says slave wages. Slaves don't have wages. The second time around, $100 million. Generation wealth. The baddest man on the planet does not turn down lucrative deals like that if he's so confident in his ability. You knock out Joshua? Sure you knock out Joshua. I'm tired of the talking. And fanboys do the most talking. Wilder could do this. Wilder could do that. Talk is cheap. He hasn't proved anything. You thinking he can knock out the likes of Joshua, White, Ruiz. Him doing it are two different things. I'm from the old school. You got to show and prove. And I know the fanboys will call me Uncle Tom. I'm chucking and jiving. I'm a sellout. I'm a coon. Or maybe you're just a soft millennial that got your feelings hurt. Because at the end of the day, Wilder did not prove anything. He did not prove his greatness. Who did he beat to prove he was great? And then you go back to those 10, 11 title defenses. Who did he fight in those 10, 11 title defenses? Luis Ortiz, a 50 year old man with high blood pressure. Impressive. So fanboys, before you come with your weak statements, your weak racial slurs, maybe you should come with an argument why Wilder is great before you get all emotional. Because where I'm standing never was the baddest man on the planet. Just the hype job. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.